about uh, left turn number conservation. So for all leptons like electrons, muons and taons, the leptin number is 1. Okay. Leptin number is 1 for all leptons. It is minus 1 for all anti-leptons and it is 0 for anything else which are not leptons. Okay. And But one important thing to consider while we are looking for leptin number conservation is that leptin number is conserved individually, meaning electron leptin number must be conserved separately, muon leptin number must be conserved separately, and town leptin number must be conserved separately. Okay, so now for electrons and electron neutrino, the leptin number is 1, the electron leptin number is 1, muon leptin number is 0, town leptin number is 0. Whereas the, an the antiparticles of those, that means the positron and the electron antineutrino, the lepton number, the electron lepton number is minus 1 and the remaining ones is 0. Similarly, we have for muons, new neutrino, uh, muon neutrino, taons, taon neutrinos, we have these lepton numbers. And we must remember, again I am repeating, that these Lepton number is conserved separately. Okay, now let us look into these three examples. Neutron is not a lepton, right? Because neutron doesn't belong here. So hence you can say that it is not a lepton. Okay. So here we see that we just have electrons and electron neutrino. So that means we should be looking only at this. That means the electron lepton number conservation. So the electron lepton number for neutron is 0 because neutron is not a lepton, right? For proton, it is 0 and for electron, it is 1, right? For electron, it is 1. For mu e bar, it is minus 1. So this side, right? So this side you have 0 and this side also you have 1 minus 1, 0, right? So Delta L is equal to 0. Hence, this interaction is allowed. Okay. So now let us look into the other example where a pi plus decays into mu plus and nu mu. Mu on mu, you know. Uh, that means here we should be looking at not L E but L mu because we have mu here, right? So mu. For pi on, pi on is not a letter, hence 0. Mu plus, for mu plus, you have L mu to be minus 1, hence minus 1 here. For mu, 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 it is minus 1 again, right? So, this is nu mu bar, so that basically means this is for nu mu, mu, it is 1, hence again this delta mu is conserved, right? Because here also it is 0, and here this side also it is 0, okay? Now that means this is also allowed. Now let us look into the Third example, where a muon decays into an electron, electron antineutrino and a muon neutrino, right? So here we see electrons and muons both. So let us look into electron lepton number as well as muon lepton number because both of them must be conserved. Here Le was conserved, here L mu was conserved. Now here we should check whether both are conserved or not. So for muon, this simply is 0, right? Because mu minus, you do not have any Le's, right? For E minus, you see your E minus here? Your Le is 1, right? Whereas your new E bar is minus 1. And again, new mu, new mu 
L E is zero, so zero, right? So that means in this interaction, your delta L E is zero. So zero this side and zero this side. Okay. Now L mu for mu minus it is one. For E minus it is zero. For new E bar, again it is 0, right? And for new mu, it is 1. So this side it is 1 and again on this side you have 1. So here also your delta L mu is 0. So all of these three interactions are allowed via leptin number conservation. So leptin number is conserved individually in all of these interactions. We did, we did not check L, delta L mu for this, but it is 0, right? No need to check. Similarly for this, delta L tau is 0. For here, delta L is 0 and delta L tau is also 0. Okay. So now let us look into baryon number conservations. So in baryon number conservation, you must have your baryon numbers be 0. That means the change in value number should be 0. On the left hand side and on the right hand side the value numbers must be equal. Right? So let us look into the first example. Okay. Before that B is equal to 1 for I mean this is a symbol for, for all for all baryons. It is minus 1 for all antibaryons. Right? And it is equal to 0 others. Meaning, suppose if it's a lepton, its baryon number is going to be 0. Okay? So for all baryons, you have baryon number 1. For all antibaryons, you have baryon number minus 1. And for others, anything which is not baryon, the baryon number is 0. Okay. Now let us look into the first example. Sigma 0, it is a baryon. Right? These are all hadrons. So this is a baryon. Baryon number is 1. Delta 0 is also a baryon. Baryon number is 1. Photon is not a baryon. It is an exchange particle. Right? So the baryon number is 0. Okay. So here on the left hand side it is 1. And again on the right hand side it is 1. So delta B is 0. So baryon number is conserved here. Now let us look into the other example. Proton is a baryon. Baryon number 1. Pi plus. These are mesons, not baryons. So 0. Photon, again an exchange particle. 0. So here delta H is not equal to 0. Okay. So baryon number is not conserved in this Example 2. Okay. Now let us look into the third example. Baryon number is 1. Here again proton 1, 1, 1, 1 because everything is proton. Anti proton, right? So anti baryon minus 1, right? And pi 0 again is the meson, is 0. So here I see it is. 2, here this 0, again it is 2, right? So, delta B is equal to 0. Hence, value number is conserved in this interaction. Mm -hmm.